Butch told me this, I didn't quite believe what he was telling me. He assured me it was true and went on to describe what happened. The other two companies that made up the task force cornered off the village so the Charlie Company could move through to destroy the structures and kill the inhabitants. Any villagers who ran from Charlie Company were stopped by the encircling companies. I asked Butch several times if all the people were killed. He said he thought they were men, women, and children. He recalled seeing a small boy, about three or four years old, standing by the trail with a gunshot wound in one arm. The boy was clutching his wounded arm with his other hand while blood trickled between his fingers. He was staring around himself in shock and disbelief at what he saw. He just stood there with big eyes staring around like he didn't understand. He didn't believe what was happening. Then the captain's RTO radio operator put a burst of M16 rifle into him. It was so bad, Grover said that one of the men in his squad shot himself in the foot in order to be medvacked out of the area so he would not have to participate in the slaughter. Though he had not seen it, Gruber had been told by people he considered trustworthy that one of the company's officers, 2nd Lieutenant Callie, had rounded up several groups of villagers, each group consisting of a minimum of 20 persons of both sexes and all ages. According to the story, Callie then machine gunned each group. Cooper estimated that the population of the village had been three to four hundred people and that very few, if any, had escaped.